champion steer there, Andy Flauda, Mount Vernon, Iowa. The reserve, watched by Gresham Simpson, Alexis, Illinois. Your Simmental, brought to you by Gracie Russell, Prescott, Iowa. The reserve, by Cameron Cho, Reedsburg, Wisconsin. Your champion, Kianina, brought to you by Chase B. Moberly, Missouri. Your reserve, brought to you by Jessica and Jared Webster, Brunel's, Iowa. Your champion, Charlene Steer, brought to you by James Gradert, Jeanette, Geneseo, Illinois. Your reserve, brought to you by Austin Wank, East Troy, Wisconsin. Your champion, Main Ann Dew, brought to you by Emma Bicklin, Longmont, Colorado. Your reserve, brought to you by Erica Fate, Fairmont, Minnesota. Your champion, Herford, brought to you by Hunter Dishler, Richland Center, Wisconsin. Your reserve, brought to you by Jack Henderson, Sturdivant, Wisconsin. Your champion, Margaret Heffer, brought to you by Mallard, Maddie Udell, Sioux City, Iowa. Your reserve, brought to you by Macy Goretzka, Corydon, Iowa. Your champion, Shorthorn, Brought to you by Kelsey Ritchie, Buckingham, Illinois. Your reserve, Shorthorn. Brought to you by Alexa Bader, Monroe, Wisconsin. Your low percentage main champion steer is brought to you by Gavin Muller, Jackson, Minnesota. Your reserve low percentage main is brought to you by Paige Pode, Richland Center, Wisconsin. Your champion appendix Shorthorn steer brought to you by Sarah Fritz, Harvard, Illinois. Your reserve, brought to you by Alex Allager, Gowering, Iowa. Finally, your champion, all, any other breed steer, was brought to you by Brock May, Mineral Point, Wisconsin. Your reserve, any other breed steer, was brought to you by Reed McCormick, Pleasantville, Iowa. And last but not least, your champion crossbred steer, brought to you by Emma Bickland, and your reserve champion crossbred steer, Brought to you by Kayla Morrow. Your judge for today's show has been brought to you. Your judge for today's show is Scott Bush from Britain, South Dakota. This time we'll have your selection of the top five animals.
certainly been a really, really fun show with the level of competition out here has been second to none. And sure have enjoyed uh, traveling here with Ernie. He's, he sure is fun. You know, I'm a little bit more of a shy person compared to him. So, you know, what he said before, I, I didn't get a word in edgewise when he suffered last night. But I uh, uh, really respect Ernie. He always does a nice job. His lineup of heifers just looks second to none out here. And I'm just really happy with this lineup out here. And I guess last night I called my wife when I got back to the hotel and said, just tell her how it was going and everything. And, and she goes, well, just don't give that stupid speech you gave down in Texas this spring when you were judging that show comparing me to uh, one of those steers out there. And I said, well, what do you mean? She goes, well, you know, you want to steer with the big foot, big bone, big old butt on them, chubby middle. But I said, yes, but you also want a nice head, a nice neck. And she goes, well, whatever, you know, kind of shrugged her shoulders. And, and I said, you know, at the end of the day, I never was comparing any of that. It was just the fact that I can't really afford you, and I couldn't afford any of these steers that are standing out here right now. Come on now, that's pretty funny. <laughs> there we go. But I tell you what, the, the amount of respect I got for these kids out here and, and the parents that take the time to travel around and, and uh, do this, is, is just second to none. I, uh, we try to do it ourselves with our family and, and uh, it's an experience that I, I you know, wish this every kid to do. And, and then when you get the quality of the show that we've seen out here, you know, there's a lot of good cattle. I got third, fourth, fifth in class. I mean, it's just one guy's opinion one day. There's a certain type that kind of follows in. And then you gotta weigh in the differences in the stage of game all these steers are at. And it's a, it's a lot to evaluate when you get out to this level like this. And, uh, and then you get into the cattle and, and just the appearance of them. Uh, you know, it's just, I mean, these cattle are just presented to the hilt. And my hat off to everybody back to shoot getting these kids, these cattle to that level and presented to me in such a great fashion. And it does matter. I mean, just a little extra pizzazz. Just a little extra bloom in them sure makes a difference when you get them out there. So, you know, before we pick our champ, let's, uh, let's put our hands together and congratulate everybody that's involved with these guys. Now, throughout the day here, I was, I was just keeping thinking, well, this championship lineup, I got kind of figured out, figured out, and then you run into another division and you go, hmm, that changes things. But uh, when I get these cattle out here, I, I think there's certainly a way I'm going to go with it. I feel really good about it, really happy with the kettle. So I'm going to go out and take your top five and certainly uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity, Becky. I was a little worried if we were going to get here, but you know, you got us here. But I uh, want to uh, say thank you to everybody involved with getting me here to judge the show. So once again, let's uh, congratulate these juniors. I'll take your top five. Champion Market Animal, Alan Whitman, Crossbreaker. That award is sponsored by Bob May Show Steers. We thank them for their support.
Your fourth overall, shown by Gracie Russell, Prescott, Iowa, champion semifinal. That was sponsored by Images Embroidery. Your third overall, sponsored by the Show Circuit Fashion and Financial. We thank our sponsors for their support.